Welcome back, everybody. It is time for our September retro game treasure. I am super bloody chuffed. Let's do it. All right, so life's been pretty busy. Hopefully everything's calmed down for now. I'm glad to be back. I'm glad to be checking out another retro game treasure. I do love these boxes. They aren't always, you know, completely top tier contents, but I don't think I've ever had one where I'm like, oh my God, I can't believe I wasted all that money. So <laughs> I'm very excited. Um, I've opened up my subscription substantially because of the kind contributions of viewers, uh, the fact that I have a DS now and a GameCube. So I'm excited to see what's in here. I, I, I did add GameCube to this, and I believe I added DS, maybe PS1, I can't remember, but I'm excited to see what's inside. There's something shaking in there, and I just can't quite tell what it is or what's going on. So without further ado, Let's do it, right? We all we all know the hallmark of a good start to the box, and it feels like they have fulfilled that. Yes, yes, yes. We have our Air Defender Lights, baby. Discountairpillows.com, where pillows are inflated, not frickin' prices. Bam. Oh. All right, so I'm already, I'm already pissed because I'm... I'm Maybe piss is a little too strong. I'm kind of upset because in the little note section, um, you specify like, you know, certain aspects of your box that you want to be true. Um, so I request all Genesis games, like at least in case, not necessarily with manual, but with case. And I said the same for DS. And while I'm excited to get a new DS game, because I don't have very much, it is not in the case. So, I don't know if I should reach out to them or I don't know. But if this keeps happening, I'll probably have to take DS off because I, I thought they would uh, stay true to that. Although I will say there was one month that they sent me a Genesis game loose and that was the only time it happened. So maybe I'll give them another month. I might reach out to them. But we have DS. I think it's a Game Boy Color NES. And I believe a Genesis or a Master System. So let's start with this loose DS game. Let's see what we got here. Is it going to be licensed shovelware? Maybe. But this is my first DS game from any of the boxes I get. So I'm super excited. First up, we got... Lego something. Lego Batman the video game. So generally I like the Lego games. I, 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 I guess it's not really shovelware, <laughs> but it is a licensed game. I don't think I've ever played any of the Lego Batman games. So anyone who has played this, please let me know. How is it? But first up, we got Lego Batman. Ah. Lego Batman the video game was published by Warner Brothers Interactive Entertainment in 2008. It is an action-adventure game where you take control of characters in the Batman universe and fight enemies, solve puzzles, and collect Lego pieces. It had been quite some time since I had played any of the Lego games, uh, and I must say that the formula they utilize works very well. Uh, I had kind of forgotten that. They are fun games. It wasn't very long before I found myself enjoying the game quite a bit. Even though I'm bummed they sent this loose, this is one I'm going to play through for sure. Second up, we'll do the, I believe it's Game Boy Color. We got, uh, is that Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2? Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2. Um, I know the handheld Tony Hawk games can get kind of weird, but I have enjoyed, I've gotten a couple Tony Hawk handheld games in the past, and I enjoyed one of them way more than I expected, so. I'll be curious to see how this one is. I don't have the highest expectations, but I do like the Tony Hawk game. So second up, we got Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2. 
Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2 was published by Activision in the year 2000. I don't usually have very high hopes for handheld conversions of the Tony Hawk games. Uh, and yeah, I wasn't terribly impressed with this one, but it was better than I was expecting, and I did end up having some fun with it. I really need to spend some more time with it in order to really figure it out. Interestingly, this port was developed by Natsume. I thought that was cool. And this opening music is a freaking banger. Another Tony Hawk game for another system. Cool. All right, next up, we're gonna do the NES. We got Yoshi. We got Yoshi. This is a puzzle game. I know I've played it. I'm generally not very good at a lot of puzzle games, so I don't think I've played it that much. Be excited, love Yoshi, he's adorable. So definitely glad to have it in the collection. We got Yoshi for the NES, very cool. Yoshi was published by Nintendo in 1991 and was developed by Game Freak. I always get excited when I come across a non-Pokemon game from Game Freak. I don't know why, I just, I just do. Yoshi is a puzzle game where you take control of Mario, not Yoshi, <laughs> which, okay, as he swaps stacks of enemies that are falling from the top of the screen. You need to try and match the enemies to clear them or encase them in Yoshi eggs. I like this game, in theory. <laughs> I'm just not great at this sort of puzzle game. My brain and fingers do not move quickly enough or in tandem, really. <laughs> I will say that I don't think this variation of this type of gameplay is the most compelling, and there are many other games like this that I would rather play. But it is fun, at least for short bursts, and I am very happy to add it to my NES library. Last game. Yep. We got treasure. All right. Last up. Fingers crossed. We got. Ooh. We got cool spot. I rented this uh, from the video store when I was a kid. I want to say that I actually liked this game. I mean, I was a little kid, and uh, I haven't. I don't think I've played it since. But I remember this game being all right. I could be wrong. You'll see when I uh, record the gameplay what I think, my first impressions, but this is cool. I always enjoyed Cool Spot as a mascot uh, when I was a kid, and like I said, I remember having a lot of fun with this. Um, there is some, like, chunks missing out of the case, but it's not too bad. I don't really care about that. Um, no manual, but... Something cool I did notice here is this was a Blockbuster rental. Very cool. I did not rent games from Blockbuster. We didn't have one super close. I did go every once in a while, but usually I got my video games from my local hometown uh, video store, HRNS Video. But that's cool. I always like when they have the old rental stuff on the cartridges or uh, labels. So cool spot. I think that's a pretty cool end of the box. I'm actually really happy about that. So last up again, distributed exclusively by Sega, we got cool spot for the Genesis. Cool spot was published by Virgin Games USA in 1993. It is a platform game where you play as cool spot, the seven up mascot at the time. This is from that golden era of gaming when companies kept pumping out interactive commercials and we kids just ate it up. <laughs> I, I don't even think it ever occurred to me when I was a kid and I played these games that I was being marketed to. But like I said during the unboxing, I used to rent this one often and quite enjoyed it as a kid. How does it hold up as an adult? I think it's all right. There's something odd to me about how Cool Spot controls, 
but I did get used to it, at least for the most part. These food and beverage licensed games really run the quality gamut from god awful to pretty freaking good, and I think this one fits somewhere in the middle. I am very happy to finally own this one, and it will be featured again on the channel when I get around to making my series about licensed games. Nice end to the box. So there we go. That is September's Retro Game Treasure. Um, I don't think it's the best box. Definitely, I don't think it's bad or anything. Um, I am very disappointed. I, I'm not gonna lie. I'm disappointed that they didn't follow my instructions about the DS game. Um, I should probably reach out to them. Uh, but again, like I said, they only ever did it once with Genesis and then it never happened again. So I'll have to think of that, about that. It probably won't hurt if I just send a, an email to Buck the Mega Buck and, and let them know what's up. I did get concerned because it used to be in my like preference section where you write like your preferences for whatever, you know, you want games and cases, whatever. Um, used to be like two sentences. It was just like one like, I would prefer Master System and Genesis games to be in box. And uh, I don't even remember what the second one was, but there wasn't very much. But now I've added PS1 and I want that, you know, complete in box only um, DS, at least in the box. And maybe it's just too much of text. Maybe I just need to pare that down. Maybe they just overlooked it. I'm not sure. I am disappointed, but Whatever, I got a new DS game. So quick recap while we do the totals. We got Batman the video game for the DS. We got Tony Hawk, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2 for the Game Boy Color. We have Yoshi for the NES. And we have Cool Spot for the almighty Sega Genesis. Um, pick of the box. Pick of the box, I'm gonna go Cool Spot. I got a lot of nostalgia for this, a lot of memories. Um, <laughs> hopefully, while I, I, you know, I'm sure it's probably not as good as I remember as a wee lad, um, hopefully this still kind of holds up well because I have a lot of positive association with this. So I, hopefully it's fun to play. So that's definitely my pick of the box. Um, if I had to say a runner up, probably Yoshi. Like I said, I've, I, I, I don't remember being the biggest fan of this game because um, I'm just not very good at it. But first party Nintendo game on the NES, always good. So there we go. That's the box. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you let me know what your pick of the box is. Let me know what you think of the box overall. We'll be getting into spooky season soon. Um, I've got at least one idea for a Halloween themed video that hopefully I can get out in time. <laughs> I, I do apologize that my output and my interaction uh, has been kind of limited lately uh, there's just been a lot of stuff going on in my life but things should be getting better uh, I should get back into my normal schedule and I'm really excited about the cool videos I have planned for you in the future I have started like half a dozen videos that I just haven't had time to finish yet um, right here um, expect a video about the SF 2000 very soon very excited about that and uh, I'm still working on my reviews of this multi-cart and this uh, Clone NES. I'm also going to be doing a uh, collection video, like the state of my collection so far, because that's a request I get a lot. So definitely look forward to that. And there's a bunch more stuff that I'm working on. So again, I want to thank everyone for watching. I hope you have a beautiful day, and I will see you next time. Bye. I want to give a quick shout out and thank you to our channel members. Thank you so much for the support. It is so much appreciated. Thank you so much to Sad Vlad, Retro Car Collector, and our newest member, Bread and Circuses. You guys are awesome. Again, thank you so much. If you would be interested in special perks, such as being shouted out at the end of videos, make sure you check that join button down below.